Uh, we're obviously excited for the, uh, you know, start playing games. We, um, you know, had a scrimmage this past Saturday, which we learned a lot about our team. And um, but we're anxious to, you know, flip the lights on and get officials out there and hopefully have a crowd and um, and see how we react in those environments. What's the difference between year <clears throat> one now and, and, and year two? Well, I think that um, you know, with year two, you have a, a group of guys that have returned that understand the culture. Um, so that, you know, that's obviously different because in year one, you know, you're starting all over. Everyone's new. And um, so I think that, you know, just having returners and, and having guys that uh, have, you've been through the war with trying to help and teach the, the new guys, I think, has been uh, a real positive this far. Which brings expectations. You, you know what you can do. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, and I don't shy away from expectations. I think that, um, you know, the reason we came to the to, – to UT Martin was to build a program and and get to a point where there are expectations and, uh, and I'm glad that that's it's that way after year one. Um, we obviously have to, you know, there's a lot of basketball to be played. We, our schedule is very challenging, both in the pre preseason and I think our league schedule is is going to be great as well. But um, you know, there's a lot of basketball to be played. But uh, we're we're excited to be uh, you know at a point in the program where there's uh, there's excitement and there's expectations. I think so. Um, you know, we, we obviously have very lofty goals for ourselves. No one puts more expectation um, on themselves than I do or our team. But uh, for sure, you know, I think that we, we have a good group. You know, we have to stay healthy. We're a little banged up right now. We got to stay healthy. Um, we have to continue to, you know, we have a lot of guys that are talented that haven't played at this level. And, you know, an understanding time and score, understanding um, good shot, bad shot, understanding, you know, when we call a, a set, what we're we trying to take advantage of in that, that possession. Uh, the, the one thing that, you know, from last year's team, we had two senior guards who played a lot of basketball. And, um, you know, so anytime you lose senior guards, there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. But uh, I love the upside of this team. Um, I love the character and the, uh, the culture that we have in the program. And, you know, I think that, you know, before it's all said and done, we're going to have a really good year. Right now, he's been, he, you know, he's, he hasn't missed a practice. Um, he's playing really well. I, you know, he's down in weight. He's down to 235 pounds, which uh, is about where we want him. I think, um, you know, if we're, we're, we'll get five more pounds off of him or so when we start the season. But, you know, I think Miles um, has been, is a proven low post threat in this league, and we're excited to have him back. And, uh, but one of our main things is to keep him healthy throughout the year and, and hopefully, um, you know, be able to, to ride his experience at times, especially. Uh, on the road and, um, you know, coming down the stretch. Have you seen anyone step up and fill the shoes of Marshawn Newell? You know, um, Alex Anderson, um, you know, he, he got banged up a little bit the last week, but uh, I think Alex and Tamond have really stepped up in their leadership role, which you would expect. I think, you know, when we made the CIT run, um, you know, I kind of joked a little bit with our staff, but I think the, the baton was passed, if you will, from Marshawn and DeVille to Alex and Tamond. You know, those guys really led us in the CIT run. Those guys have been, been great um, as far as leadership and, and understanding um, pace of play and what it is that we, we do both on and off the floor. So to answer your question, I think both of those guys have really stepped up in that role. Um, you know, I think that it's, it, it makes it fun to coach, you know, because when I got here, you know, we talked about openly as a team, hey, our goal is to compete for championships and win 20 games and get to postseason. And everyone around here looked like I was nuts or that I had three heads. Um, you know, and now, you know, we talk about those things and, and we have guys that have actually lived it and believe it. And so their expectations of this program um, are as high as mine. And I think that whenever you have that in the locker room, you have a chance to have a good year. The biggest thing for us is going to be how fast our new guys grow up and can grow into the roles that we need them to play. I asked Coach McMillan, is, is it easier to get to the top or is it easier to stay in the top? I don't know. We we're not there yet. Um, you know, that would be a great question for Kevin. We're not there yet. So we, we still, um, this, this league still runs through Belmont and Murray. Um, and until someone, you know, consistently uh, changes the pecking order, then it's always going to be that way. We're, we're you know, we, we're still the one that uh, is chasing what, what, you know, teams like those guys and Moorhead and EKU. I mean, those four teams have been in the Final Four of the conference tournament, I want to say, three straight years. So, um, 
you know, those four are, are proven to be, um, you know, there in the end, if you will. And, you know, we're trying to, to get to the point where our program is, uh, is at that point and at that level. Do you feel better now that you're building your team, not inheriting, of course, you're not inheriting someone else's team anymore. It's now a process of your recruiting, building your team. Yeah, I, I think it's easy to say that. But, you know, when I got this job, uh, you know, I really put my arm around those guys that were here and uh, embraced them. And they, in turn, really embraced me and embraced the change. And so, you know, I, I've never thought about it in a sense of, well, I got to play this guy because I recruited him or didn't. I don't ever get into that. Um, the guys that, that buy in and can execute what it is that we're, we're trying to do on both ends of the floor, the guys that are going to play. And, um, you know, I think that we've done a great job in the recruiting process. I think that we have some talented guys. We have more depth this year than we had last year. And again, it just comes down to how quick some of the guys can uh, adjust to this level of play. 100 percent it's a great question we talk about it all the time as a staff we talk about it as a team they have they have an identity um when you go through now again eastern kentucky changed coaches but those three guys have been able to keep their coaches um when you think about belmont you think about skill you think about five guys on the floor that can all dribble pass and shoot they understand what it is that they do when you think about murray you think about overwhelming athleticism post guys that are big, strong, and physical, and they just wear you down. When EKU, at that time, you talked about teams that were a challenge on both ends of the floor. They played differently on both sides of the ball that you had to prepare for. Uh, Moorhead was kind of the bully of the league. You know, they just out physical you, probably had the biggest, most physical guards in the league, and really got to the line and, and pressured you out of things. So all four of those teams um, had a true identity about who they were. And I think that that's why they've been so successful um, in the last few years. Where's the identity of your team? Great point. Great question. Um, you know, I think that we we've tr we tr we worked on, and I thought we did this when I inherited this program. We were one of the worst defensive teams in the country, if not the worst, in some statistics. And we became a better defensive team. Um, we shot the three ball very well, and you know, so those are the two concepts that are not concepts, but those are the two underlining themes that we talk about a lot is our ability to defend the basketball, share the basketball, and, and take really quality shots. And I think that, you know, when you go back and look at um, our statistics from the last year and, you know, we really took care of the basketball, I think we took quality shots, we shot the three ball well, and we defended really well. Um, our defensive rebounding for being a small team was one of the best in the country. You know, so we work on rebounding all the time, defensive rebounding all the time. Um, and those have been the hallmarks um, that we've talked about since I've been here. Coach, last year, you, I don't want to say you had a brutal road schedule, but <laughs> it was pretty rough. Um, what, about, what about this year? Is it a little lighter? No, it's really brutal. It's still brutal. Um, you know, we, we uh, you know, it, it's our, our preseason conference or preseason schedule is, um, you know, it is it is what it is. It's, it's you know, where we are and who we are. And, you know, we're going to always have to go on the road and play some really good teams. And uh, and now it's gotten even harder because it's trying to get teams to come here or even play us in a home at home has been very difficult. Um, but, uh, you know, the one thing that I thought last year's preseason schedule did for us is it taught us how to win on the road. Um, it, it allowed us as a, a team to really bond. You know, when you take a bus from here to Cincinnati, Cincinnati to Virginia, um, you know, you, you better learn to like each other because you're on the road a lot, on a bus a lot. So, um, you know, our, our preseason schedule is always going to be very challenging because of the amount of road games we have to play. Those uh, times on, on the road, do you think that helped the team as far as uh, you, you mentioned bonding? It hurt my back a lot. Um, no, but, no, I, I think that um, we learned a lot about our, ourselves. Um, we were able to, to win some games on the road early, which I think gave us some confidence. Um, you know, to win a conference championship, you're going to have to figure out how to win games on the road. And to win games on the road, you're going to have to defend at a high level, take quality shots, um, make more free throws in your opponent's attempt. You know, those are some statistics that you're going to have to have to win on the road. Um, so we're going to have plenty of opportunity to try to learn those.